Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, tonight we meet two more teams whom we fully expect to have spent the last few weeks bonding, swatting and avoiding cracks in the pavement in the hope of earning themselves a place in the second round. Winners go through automatically. The losers may qualify to play again if their score puts them among the four highest scoring losing teams from these first round matches. So crack on with it. The University of Nottingham began life in the 19th century as a constituent college of London University with its foundation stone laid by Gladstone in 1877. In the 1920s, it moved from the city centre to a campus on the outskirts of the city following an endowment by Sir Jesse Boot of Boots the Chemist's fame. It received its royal charter in 1948, and alumni include the writer D.H. Lawrence, the physicist Sir Peter Mansfield, who won the Nobel Prize for his work on magnetic resonance imaging, and the head of the high street shoe repair chain, John Timpson, with an average age of 23, representing around 34,000 students. Let's meet the Nottingham team. Hi, I'm Michael Alexander, originally from South London, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Ben Sgrayfield. I'm from Sheffield and I'm studying chemistry. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Alice Lilly. I'm from Harrogate in North Yorkshire and I'm studying for a PhD in American Studies. Hi, I'm Mark Dennis. I'm from Hucknall in Nottinghamshire and I'm studying for a PhD in Mathematics. Now, the University of Swansea is making a long overdue appearance in this competition, having last been seen in 1997. It was the fourth constituent college of the University of Wales, receiving its charter from George V in 1920, with 89 students, a whole eight of them female, enrolling that year. It expanded during the 1960s and in 2007 it became a university in its own right. Alumni include the writer and broadcaster Mavis Nicholson, Richie Edwards and Nicky Wire of the Manic Street Preachers, and Professor Lynn Evans, project leader at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Tonight's team are representing around 18,000 fellow students. They have an average age of 29 and a captain who tells us that appearing on this programme has been on his bucket list since the age of eight. Let's hope it's all he's ever dreamed of. <laughs> so we ask the team now to introduce themselves. Hello, my name's Georgia Pickett. I'm from Cannock in Staffordshire and I'm studying medicine. Hello, my name's Dewey Goulden. I'm from the Ockwen Valley, North Wales, and I'm studying medicine. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Adam Haynes. I'm from Hartford in Hertfordshire and I'm studying ancient history and Latin. Hello, Alan Adweed. We are Sir Flint and Gogledd Cymru. Adweed of Stadia Meddergaeth. Hello, my name's Alan. I'm from Flintshire in North Wales and I'm studying medicine. Welsh by any chance. Yes. <laughs> right. uh, the rules. Starter question is the same as ever. Uh, ten points for them and no conferring on them. Buzz in incorrectly, you get a five-point fine. Bonus questions, their team efforts, you confer on those, of course. So, fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. Described as a converted ten-gun brig, popularly known as one of the coffin class, which vessel, captained by Robert Fitzroy, appears in the title of a work by Charles Darwin, published from 1830... <laughs> Nottingham Alexander. The Beagle. The Beagle is correct, yes. <laughs> so, Nottingham, first blood to you and the first set of bonuses on communication devices. Firstly, for five points, in 1842, Senator Oliver Smith of Indiana said, I watched his countenance closely to see if he was not deranged and I was assured by other senators after we had left the room that they had no confidence in it. To what invention was he referring? Is it Morse code? Telephone. Actually, it could be that. Yeah. Telephone? Yeah. Telephone? No, it's the telegraph, the electrical telegraph. Secondly, of what was Stalin speaking when he said, it will unmake our work. No greater instrument of counter-revolution and conspiracy can be imagined. Television. Yeah. Television? No, that was the telephone. <laughs> and finally, what did the editor of the Manchester Guardian, C.P. Scott, say? The word is half Greek and half Latin. No good can come of it. Television. That's television. That's television. Television. Yes, that is television, <laughs> obviously. Right, ten points for this. Archimedes' exclamation, Eureka, meaning I've found it, is the motto of which US state? Swansea Golden. Uh, California. Correct, yes. 
referring to the discovery of gold in 1848. So you get a set of bonuses, Swansea, on fictional languages. Lendry, meaning badger, and sylphle, meaning eat or graze above the ground, are words in Lapine, the language spoken by the main characters in which novel of 1972? Warship Down. Warship Down? Correct. Mangani is the name of both a fictional species of great ape and the language they use in a series of adventure novels first published in 1914. Which American wrote them? Pass. They're Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan stories. And finally, which author created the fictional languages of Quenya and Sindarin loosely based on Finnish and Welsh? Uh, Tolkien. Correct, yes. Another sort of question now. On a similar latitude to Barcelona, which city is served by two major airports named respectively after a female fighter pilot and the founding president who'd adopted her in 1925? The larger of the two is on the city's European side. Swansea Golden. Uh, Istanbul. Correct. Your bonuses are on a psychologist this time, Swansea. Born in 1908, which US psychologist argued that the primary goal of psychotherapy should be the integration of the self? Adams? No, it's Abraham Maslow. Maslow was an important contributor in the United States to humanistic psychology. This is sometimes known as what force? Life force? That's the third force. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is usually represented as a triangle, with the fifth and final stage at the apex labelled with what two-word hyphenated term? Self-confidence? Self -confidence? No, it's self-actualization. Right, we're going to take our first picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a set of national flags indicating, with some simplification, the countries passed through by a major world river from source to sea. For ten points, give me the name of the river, please. Swansea Haynes. Is it Danube? Nope. Nottingham Alexander. Is it the Dnieper? It is the Dnieper, yes. Right, well, following on from the NEPA, you're going to see three more sets of flags showing, with some simplification, the countries through which a transboundary river passes on its course from source to sea. Two flags appearing one above the other indicates that the river forms the border between those countries. In each case, I want the name of the river. Firstly... Yellow, the, yeah, pick your favourite. Yeah, yellow. Yellow? No, that's the Mekong from China to Vietnam. Uh, secondly, this river, please. Is that Congo? Is that Congo, maybe? Mm. That's in Ghana, Tanzania. Yeah. Zimbabwe. Where's the Congo go? Yeah. Yeah. Congo. I guess there's DRC on there. Or Congo. Congo. I think it's just Republic of Congo yeah. is on there, yeah. Oh, okay, for the Congo? No, that's the Zambezi oh, from Zambia to Mozambique. And finally. That might be the Rhine. Yeah, Rhine. that's right. Yeah. Rhine does go out in the north, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. The Rhine? It is the Rhine, yes. Well done. <laughs> Right, ten points for this. What specific field of the theoretical physical sciences is named in the full title of the J.J. Sakurai Prize? Recent winners include Helen Quinn, George Zweig, Carl Hagen and Peter Higgs. Swansea Owens. Uh, particle physics? Yes, theoretical particle physics, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on fundamental physical constants, Swansea. After a 19th century Austrian scientist, which constant gives the number of molecules in one cubic metre of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure? It's the number of particles. It's what we do. Avogadro, but that's... 
Um, Boltzmann? No, it's the Loschmidt constant. Born in 1776, which Italian scientist gives his name to the constant which gives the number of atoms or molecules contained in one mole of any substance? Uh, Avogadro. Uh, you mean Avogadro. Yes, yes, I'll accept that. Named after a British scientist born in 1791, what constant is the product of the Avogadro constant and the charge on an electron in coulombs? It represents the magnitude of electric charge in a mole of electrons. Uh, an amp. No, that's Faraday's constant. Ten points for this. His offices and titles, including Master of the King's Jewels, Surveyor of the King's Woods, Principal Secretary, Lord Privy Seal and Earl of Essex, which political figure was born the son of a blacksmith around 1485 and was executed on a charge of treason in 1540? Swansea Golden. Uh, Cromwell. Which one? Thomas Cromwell. Thomas Cromwell is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on US sitcom Swansea. The infinitive of the German verb to be spells the first half of the one-word name of which US sitcom first broadcast in the UK in 1993? Friends? <laughs> Friends, no, it's Seinfeld. Uh, First broadcast in the UK in 2001, in which US sitcom may the names of the title characters be preceded by the words free and divine to give concepts in philosophy and theology, respectively? Sitcom 2001. Is it Frasier? Uh, Fraser. Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's will and grace. Free oh. will and divine grace. <laughs> and finally, the name of which US sitcom appears in that of a Category B men's prison in the London borough of Hammersmith and Fulham? Mm. Um, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Pass. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> it's scrubs, as in wormwood wow. scrubs. Right, ten points for this. Fools find no pleasure in understanding, but delight in airing their own opinions. These words appear in which book of the Old Testament? Nottingham Alexander. Proverbs? Correct, yes. Should be inscribed over the entrance of the House of Commons, really. Right, <laughs> here are your bonuses, Nottingham. They're on spirits. Distilled from a fermented mash of malted rice with toddy or molasses, the Asian drink arak derives its name from the word sweet juice in which language? Turkish. Yeah, that sounds right. Turkish? No, it's Arabic. In Ireland, what diminutive form denotes clear spirit made with fermented potatoes or grain? Originally a clandestine product, its legal production for export was allowed in 1989. Pacini, I think. Pacini. 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 Pacini? Pacini is correct, yes. The dry, colourless Balkan brandy known as Slivovitz is made from which fruit? Plums. Plums. Plums is correct, or damsons, yes. Right, we're going to take a music round now, with the scores pretty evenly balanced. For your next question, you're going to hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the performer. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to me. Nottingham Dennis. Kanye West? It is indeed, yes. Uh, that was from his album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. In 2010, that album won the so-called Paz and Jop poll of music critics, conducted by the New York publication The Village Voice. For your bonuses, three more recent winners of that poll, five points for each artist or band you can name. Firstly, from 2008. Congratulations on the mayor. The 
The drums? No, it's TV on the radio. That was DLZ from the album Dear Science, apparently. Secondly, the winner of this, uh, the 2012 poll. Driving, I swear I've got three lives Balanced on my head like steak knives I can't tell you the truth about my disguise I can't trust no one and You say like who I bought I told them don't care Oh, you need like prayer I guess they couldn't hurt me yeah. Childish Gambino? No, that's Frank Ocean. That was Bad Religion yeah. from the album Channel Orange. And finally, from 2007. Two-door cinema club? No, that's LCD sound system. No. Right, ten points for this. Traditionally meaning text written in red to emphasise sections... Nottingham Alexander. Rubric. Well done. <laughs> right, bonuses on dogs, military history and football for you. Firstly, from a common French word, the name of what general type of small dog comes from the fact that it was originally bred to pursue its quarry into the earth? Terrier. Terrier. Mm. Terrier. 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 Correct. The word terrier is used colloquially to denote the territorial army, a force established by Richard Haldane when he was Secretary of State for War. During which decade did this occur? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> How far back are we thinking? No, it's post second World War. Yeah, so that's what we think. 60s, 70s, 70s. I'd say 60s, but I don't know. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. 60. 60. 1960s? 1960s? No, it's the 1900s, 1908, oh, in wow. fact, to be precise. And finally, the Terriers is the nickname of which Yorkshire football club? In 1926, they became the first to win the first division title three times in succession. Huddersfield Town. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. In January 2015 in Sydney, which country won the AFC Asian Cup for the first time? Nottingham Lily. Australia. Well done. You're pretty good on sport, aren't you? <laughs> right, here's a set of bonuses on cities and their nicknames. After an ancient Mediterranean city, what epithet was applied to Edinburgh in the 18th century to reflect its position at the heart of the Scottish Enlightenment? Oh, oh is that, that is the nickname of Old Reeky. Old Reeky? <laughs> no, not at all. No, it's Athens of the North. <laughs> In which modern-day state of India is the city of Madurai, sometimes nicknamed the Athens of the East, noted for its Meenakshi temple? It dates to the 3rd century BCE. Rajasthan's the state Jaipur was in, and that might be that state Rajasthan. Area. Rajasthan, maybe, Rajasthan. yeah. Rajasthan? No, it's Tamil Nadu. Yeah. And finally, the Athens of the South was a designation given in the 19th century to which US city? It's the capital of the volunteer state and the site of the Grand Ole Opry Concert Hall. Oh, Grand Ole Opry, I've been there. It's Nashville, isn't it? Yeah, it's Nashville. Grand Ole Opry, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Nashville. Nashville. Nashville is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this start of question. Once described as Doonesbury for kids, which comic strip by the US cartoonist Bill Watterson? Nottingham Alexander. Calvin and Hobbes. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Nottingham, are on Roman Britain. Its name derived from the Latin for trench or ditch. Which major Roman road ran from the mouth of the river Axe in Devon to Lindum Coloniae, or present-day Lincoln? Roman for ditch is Fosse. That could be the Foss so Way, because that goes to Leicester, doesn't yeah. it? Which yeah. Would work. Yeah. Yeah. Foss Way? Foss Way is correct. Secondly, which city lies on the site of a rat eye of the Coriel Tauvi, a Roman town at the point at which the Foss Way crossed the river Soar, around 50 miles southwest of Lincoln? Well, the Soar is Matlock, sort of, uh, Matlock, Derbyshire, sort of area. So it could be Dar... I don't know if Matlock is it. 
Yeah, it's that sort of area, I think. Yeah, same mm -hmm. yeah. Go for it. Matlock? No, it's Leicester. What is the present day name of Corinium, a town in the Cotswolds on the Foss Way, around 30 miles northeast of Aquae Sulis or Bath? Cheltenham, yes. That's no, Gloucester sort of way. So. Yeah. Which one? Probably Gloucester. Probably Gloucester. Mm -hmm. right. Well, my only thought was that Gloucester itself is, is a Roman name because it's. Let's have it, okay. please. Yeah, Gloucester. No, it's Sirencester. We're going to take a second picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting of a figure in Greco Roman myth. Ten points if you can identify both the figure and the painter. Nottingham Alexander. It's Narcissus and uh, Mane. Anyone like to buzz from Swansea? Swansea Haynes. Narcissus and Mane. No, it's Narcissus and Peter Paul Rubens. So, picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this. Fingers on the buzzers. It is in pictures, ruins and natural surroundings that I find the most music. These are the words of which German composer born in 1809? His works include the Italian Symphony, the Oratorio Elijah and the Hebrides Overture. Nottingham Dennis. Mendelssohn? Correct. <laughs> so we return to the picture round with the picture bonuses, three more paintings of the story of Echo and Narcissus. This time, in each case, I simply want you to identify the painter. Firstly, for five, this British artist. Rosetti? Who's the other one? I don't know much about Rosetti? No, you're nearly there. It's John William Waterhouse, though. Yeah. Secondly, this French artist. Jericho? Which is it? Jericho? You know, the laughter magician. Jericho. As in, like the town. Jericho. It could be, I don't know. Jericho? No, it's Poussin. And finally, this Italian artist. Oh, Caravaggio? Correct. Ten points for this. Of the US states with names beginning with the letter M for Mike, which one has the highest population? Swansea Haynes. Massachusetts. Anyone like to buzz from Nottingham? Nottingham Screenfield. Montana. No, it's Michigan. Mm. Ten points for this. A very hidden author is an anagram of the three-word name of which 19th century US poet and transcendentalist philosopher. He's perhaps best known for his 1854 work, Walden. Nottingham Alexander. Henry David Thoreau. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses, Nottingham, are on Pacific Islands. The Friendly Islands was a name given by Captain Cook to which present-day country? <laughs> Um, I guess someone else. I really, I really don't know. Yeah. I thought it was too little recently. Uh, the Solomon Islands? No, it's Tonga. Tahiti and Bora Bora are among the islands of which archipelago in French Polynesia comprising the Windward and the Leeward Islands? Is that the sandwich out there? Say it, say it. No, no, it's not. What, what no. Island chains are we looking at? Kiribati, Micronesia, maybe? Micronesia. Yeah. Micronesia? Yeah. Micronesia? No, it's the Society Islands. And finally, the Federated States of Micronesia and which other republic make up the Caroline Islands? I'm just thinking of things that have got multiple islands. So, but Kiribati, Solomon, you know, I don't know. Kiribati, I'd say. Yeah. Kiribati? No, it's Palo. Three and a half minutes to go and ten points for this. In the vertebrate skull, what five-letter term denotes the socket consisting of the seven fused bones that contain... Swansea Piggott. Orbit. Orbit is right, yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Here are some bonuses. 
bear on British deciduous trees in the words of the Royal Horticultural Society website. In each case, name the tree from the description. All three have a common five-letter name. First, Corallus avellana, a large spreading shrub or small tree with rounded leaves and yellow male catkins in early spring, followed by edible nuts in autumn. Five letter Beach and nuts. Beach. Beach. <laughs> Hazel. Hazel. <sighs> Secondly, Populus tremula, a small tree with a broad crown. Rounded leaves tremble in a slight breeze. Male trees have woolly grey catkins. Beach. <laughs> That's the aspen. And finally, Betula pendula, an elegant deciduous tree with slender drooping twigs, bark white, becoming black and rugged at the base. Leaves ovate, yellow in autumn, flowers in catkins. Birch. 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 Indeed, it is the birch. Yes, it's all the birch. Well done. Right, ten points for this. Referring to the wedge it drove into the Allied lines, what name is commonly given to the German counteroffensive through its Swansea Owens? Uh, Battle of the Bulge. Correct. Here are a set of bonuses for you. on the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. Firstly, Calatrava designed the Alamillo Bridge to coincide with Expo 92 in which city in Andalusia? Uh, Seville. Seville. Correct. Which Middle Eastern city is the location of Calatrava's Cords Bridge for rail and pedestrians, making use of an angled cantilever tower. Its cables have been suggested to represent the strings of King David's harp. Tel Aviv? No, it's Jerusalem. Calatrava's Samuel Beckett and James Joyce bridges are in which European city? Dublin. 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 Correct. Ten points for this. From a Latin verb meaning to proclaim, what term was used in ancient Rome for the first day of every month? It is etymologically... Swansea Haynes. Callens. Callens is correct, yes. <laughs> You've got a set of bonuses now, Swansea, on zoology. In each case, I want the name of the phylum, for example, arthropods, that includes the following. Firstly, sea hares, sea butterflies and sea slugs. I mean, no, they're not mollusks. Come on, you've got to be quick. Mollusks is correct, yes. Sea cucumbers, sea lilies and sea urchins, secondly. Uh, echinoderms. Echinoderms. Correct. And finally, seahorses, sea snakes and sea lions. And at the dawn, Swansea have 110, Nottingham have 135. You're starting to come back. There was a terrible point when you seemed to go to sleep for about <laughs> ten minutes there. But thank you very much for joining us, Swansea. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to you, I'm afraid. Uh, Nottingham, well done. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in the next round. You've been a bit of spotting up in the meantime, I think. <laughs> we discovered a few areas of ignorance there, although you're terribly good on some things, I thought. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Swansea University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Nottingham University. Goodbye. Bye. And goodbye. Goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>